<laughs> or I could be me. mistaken. Whoa! Oh That's no 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 BB no no BB Gun did ban the warrior. Wait what? Yeah BB Gun <laughs> was the one that banned the warrior. Oh okay. So it's like really similar kind of, I guess it's pretty common in um con like conquest of a ban. A lot of people just ban the warrior, and yeah just play free mage. And we see Nossum having the golden card back. I'm actually quite jealous. <laughs> The yeah. legendary golden card back. Yeah, so, so still no answers on the freeze mage yet, but I'm... Like, there's several different builds at the moment that are popular. Like, there's the standard laughing freeze mage, which plays, like, copies, uh, two copies of everything in the deck. Mm -hmm. Then there's a uh, reno mage that's actually been seeing a lot of play lately. Mm -hmm. And also, <laughs> and also, so. this is not Zoo that we're looking at. This is actually Reno. reno. Yeah, Reno. So this is actually a really interesting kind of matchup too, just because both sides. Oh, Cobalt. So this is neither. This is the Cobalt Freeze Mage, which is this goes back like three months ago. Does it go back to Dreamhack? What Austin? Is it Austin? Uh, was it in Dreamhack Austin? I think LBS was playing this deck. Yeah. yeah. And I also see saw Frozen playing this list too. Oh, was it Frozen? It was some. Um, Frozen was actually playing a different build. Like he was running double evolved Cobalt. So I guess it really depends on what we're gonna see here. Like. Mm -hmm. It might actually be Reno, just because... Oh, Cthune! Wow! Wow, Cthune with combo. Damn, that's gonna be a lot of burst damage in this Reno deck. I like seeing these builds, like, so much craziness going on. Yeah. Not the standard crap that we always see. But yeah, that's really sad seeing Brandon die there. Like, could've had so much Cthune potential. Mm -hmm. Or even just the Twilight Drake that turn would've been huge. Yep. Probably see the block come down this turn with that. Don't really need to push damage all that much when you're running Evolved Cobalt. Like, your reach is insane. <laughs> My reach is insane, damn. Well, not that insane, but pretty insane. Better than most. Better than most. Alright, so playing the Drake. Pretty hard for Freeze Mage to actually remove, like, really big kind of health creatures. Just because Flamestrike only does four, Blizzard only does two. You kill a Freeze Mage. <laughs> Like, we already see multiple freeze effects. Mm -hmm. He already has Alex Straza, so... Oh, I was about to say, like, so he needed the, the yeah, Reno. Yeah, he definitely needed a Reno to win. Emperor is not bad. Uh, he, like, BB Gun might be forced to actually remove this. He probably will remove this, but I, 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 I do like that, too. Because the Twilight Drake is something that you can actually ignore. And and when you're playing against, like, a control kind of deck, there's not they don't play, really play that many minions on board either, right? So... Ooh, that's really not bad. Yeah, Cthune. So that that's also one of the cards he needs to beat this matchup. So maybe you just lead with the the three, or any of the Cthune cards. Yeah. Go with the most expensive ones. Get those out of the way. Start attacking face. Like you could actually potentially. Yeah, Cthune could immediately pop the block on turn ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, so like if he, he does has, have, he does have to evolve Cobalt though. Okay. Yeah, I, I like I like this a little better. Yeah. It's not like he can pop block right. Well, let's well he does have 13 damage with yeah. the uh... I, I see someone in chat is making fun of me. Must be away. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> <He's> making... <laughs> so yeah, just removing as much damage as possible. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can't be afraid of dying anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But how much damage is in uh, BB Gun's hand? Like Quite it? Quite a bit, actually. I would actually think quite a bit. Well, okay, so... Emperor could come down... But just because he used the uh, Forgotten Torch, uh, I don't think he actually has enough damage to actually push, actually. Like, yeah, he needs to either draw the Roaring Torch or draw some combination of uh, mm -hmm. Ice Lances, which we're probably just going to see a, a Blizzard come down this turn and then ping, or maybe just ping first, then find out what you draw. Mm -hmm. Like, there's several good turns he could possibly have. Like, you're just looking to prevent lethal the following turn. Yep. But I wouldn't be surprised that Cthulhu is going to come down on turn 10, popping that block regardless of what the mage's health total is. Yeah, and that's going to be pretty scary. Especially now that you know that you know, your opponent is playing Cthulhu, just because he played the um, Twilight Elder and... Interesting, and leaving... Server. Instead of pinging uh, the Acolyte to get immediate value, he had decided to Blizzard. I wonder if that's going to be a mistake in the long run. Like, because he had the option to just ping and not use the... Uh, the novice engineer mm -hmm. and just Nova, so like he would not lose anything. Like even like Siphon Soul could actually just be good here, preventing insane amount of draw, like mm -hmm. two card draw next turn. Mm -hmm. Still play it. Yeah. Oh man. 
Yeah, right. Cthulhu's coming down next turn. Yeah, Cthulhu's definitely coming down. Maybe this is the one turn that he actually needs. Like, if he can't pop... Well, he's probably gonna play Emperor, right? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, he's just gonna let him draw a card. Like, I, I felt like he did actually have the option here to... You just uh, siphon soul it, but maybe you just like want to have that. Like, oh, 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 this is this lethal? Let's see, oh, okay, oh, ice oh. lance, too. Okay, this this is lethal. This is lethal. Anyway, when Emperor no, it's then. not lethal, yeah, like, yeah, you need yeah, Emperor yeah, to come yeah, back. Yeah, Emperor, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, in the next turn, like, even if Cthulhu pops a block, uh, BB gun actually has enough um, damage to actually burst his opponent down. So, even paying to face, so he definitely knows. So wait, Especially with the Evolved Cobalt too? Oh my god. Like he did have the option to Forgotten Torch face, right? Mm -hmm. Fireball. Which would be 9, uh, so that's 24 damage? Mm-hmm. Does he have enough mana for the Forgotten Torch? So it's like 1, right? He needs to play the Evolved Cobalt no matter what, so he has 2 of Frostbolts. So that's 3, yeah, so 4, that's, 5. That's 5. Six, seven, uh, fireball. Eight. Yeah, yeah, he has exactly ten mana to use all. Wait, the so is that thirty damage? Yeah, that's yeah, thirty yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, he has exactly. So it doesn't all... matter what. Yeah. Nasim does here. Yeah. So it, it turns out it's not even relevant how many cards he draws. He just yeah. has lethal. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah, I'm up to twenty nine. Let's see how much damage you can actually put out. So this is all thirty damage. All like he has enough. Yeah, mana, he might exactly be short. Damage. He might have been short one. No, no, I no. no I counted. I counted. I counted. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, he has the Roaring Torch that deals 8, and now it is gonna use the double Frostbolt and Ice. Oh, it was Roaring Torch. I yeah, thought it yeah. was Roaring, yeah, it's torch. roaring torch. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's a Roaring Torch. Yeah. Huge difference. So, one turn burst from 29 with the Evolved Cobalt. Yeah, crazy, man. <laughs> Alex Strauss is like, huh, you didn't need me. Didn't need me.